Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another chef video. I'm sure of, by the way. Uh, <coughs> today, uh, primary purpose of this shave is to um, give you my first impression of this razor, which is the Wolfman WR2 uh, 1.55 solid bar. I just received this razor um, in the mail. I paired it up with a Magar MR11 handle. Uh, there's a reason behind that. Anyway, so uh, it has a personal red um, blade used once. <clears throat> I also have a Mula or Mule R41 standing by. I might do a few passes with this one to compare how the how aggressive, mild, whatever the Wolfman is. For a leather today, I'm using uh, Nuovia Nera, which I transferred into a, a Maggard empty tub. I already uh, rubbed it the soap, so I'm just gonna do some face leather and get to the shave. So this is my uh, third Wolfman. I I have the 1.15 and 1.25, so I'm trying to <clears throat> see what's the fuss about this. Uh, high cap Wolfman is if you visit the forums uh, mostly uh, shave nuke or damn fine shave you'll see that there are lots of people um, who claim that this high gap uh, Wolfman is 1.45 uh, or 1.55 they claim that these are the best razors ever so I was curious and when a friend of mine, you know who you are, uh, got the chance to buy a Wolfman but he decided not to, I uh, he bought one for me. So he received it a while back, not a while back, maybe seven, ten days back and then he used this razor once. His impression was that this is one of the worst razors he ever used. It's very scrappy, not comfortable at all. So I thought that it might be a good idea to do a video and share my first impression. Also, someone asked that uh, can they use my method, which is not really a method, it's basically loading soap while adding water. Uh, can they use my method with softer soaps? Uh, Nuova Via is pretty soft and works fine for me, it just takes less time. That's it. So it goes. My first ever shave or attempt to shave with Wolfman W2 1.15. It has quite a bit of blood fill, fairly loud. By the way, I had uh, just a little over one and a half days growth, maybe like four years growth. Okay, so I'll do the left side with the R41. I think R41 feels a little bit more aggressive. Or maybe not, I don't know, I can't tell. The 
let me try the this is the WR2 again yeah R41 has more blood fill let's go back to the R41 On the first pass, R41 seems to be uh, more aggressive and uh, <coughs> Wolfman 1.55 uh, feels more smooth. So let's see, first pass is uh, not really a concern for me. I can get a, a great first pass pretty much with every razor except new long con uh, that's a different story i'm not gonna mix the razors um, on any side for the next two passes by the way uh, if you, uh, I don't know whether you can tell or not if if somebody sold this razor to me and called them mirror polished I think I would believe them I would say that uh, you know James hasn't done the best work but you know what maybe not I, 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 I don't think I could tell that this is not mirror polish this is just basic polish it's just so good the polishing is so good And this is a, a, a minor travel spot for me. Feels very smooth so far. I think. Yeah, feels very smooth to me. Not scrappy at all. I think my young friend who said that this is a very scrappy razor, he might be smoking something. Mm. Not very comfortable here. Comfortable, but not very comfortable. I have had better shaves. Same here. Across the game passes. Comfortable, but can be better. Let's see. So, R41 on the left side. The R41 definitely has more blood fill. South to north is the across the grain for me on my neck. So under, 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 under my nose, um, the R41 feels a little bit more uh, smoother. Anyway, let's see how close. Uh, ah, 
and they are washed. <coughs> so after two passes, I I have similar amount of hair on each side of my face. So at least uh, during this first wave, I cannot just say that WO2 is more efficient. Maybe a little bit less here. You know what, maybe WO2 is a little bit uh, more efficient than uh, R41. And not by much really. I think I loaded a little less today. That's fine. Anyway, so uh, right side of my neck um, against the green. Uh, that's like the litmus test for me. A razor has to perform well in this pass for me to even consider uh, keeping that razor. So let's see. Fairly comfortable, I would say. Not the most comfortable, but uh, it has a uh, humongous blade gap, so that's fine. A lot of blade fill uh, during against the grain on my cheeks. And here is another one. So. I'll go from here to here. So from earlobe to uh, Adam's apple is the against the grain for me on neck. Here, uh, for some reason, this razor isn't. Oh, I don't find it com very comfortable over here. This is another um, sensitive spot for me, but feels fine. I guess the grain under the nose, um, not very comfortable, but enough. Comfortable enough. Now left side with Mullah R41. This is the part where it takes me a little bit of effort to get a very close shave and also here.
under the nose definitely uh, feels a little bit more comfortable with the R41 than and the Wolfman I'm trying not to buff too much today because I want to see <coughs> So people talk about these razors being uh, very, very efficient compared to mild or mid aggressive razors. So, and they say that you don't need to buff uh, at all. I never agreed to that, but uh, I, I want to see it in today. You know what, I, I don't have a BBS because um, I didn't buff on my neck. It's really close to impossible for me to get a BBS without buffing on my neck. Uh, which side is closer? Ah, about the same. But let's see if I have to choose, I'll say like maybe Wolfman side is 5% closer. But I also use my right hand on this side, so it's easier to get a closer shot here. Um, wash, maybe Wolfman, but not by much. Ah, in terms of smoothness, in most areas except under my nose and uh, this is the chin, right? Yeah, yeah. So under the chin, uh, R41 was a little bit more comfortable, but everywhere else, Wolfman felt just a little bit more comfortable. Now I'll um, get the alum block. Again, I don't use alum block uh, for, for my every step, but whenever I'm <coughs> trying a new razor blade combo or a new razor, I just like to see how how good my shaves are. Just a little bit uh, tingling here. Nothing under the nose. Not much burn really on the right side. Maybe a little bit more burn on the left side. Yeah, not much burn. So I have a I have a kind of subjective way of rating my shaves so if i don't get uh, any burn at all i call this excellent plus plus so this would be excellent plus just below excellent uh, but excellent plus plus uh, just excellent plus so i got a little bit of burn but not much maybe a tiny bit more burn on the r41 side compared to the wr2 so yeah, based on just one shave, just one shave, my opinion might change in future because I have used R41 a lot, but I this was just my first shave with um, WR2. Based on my, my my one shave, if you love Mula R41 or similar razors, if you have the money and if you have uh, the access, uh, go buy a Wolfman. Go buy a Wolfman WR2 uh, 1.55. It might be just a tiny bit more, um, comfortable maybe tiny 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 bit more efficient and about the same in terms of alum burn uh, i will have a better fit and finish so of course this is the machine razor so and it's an oofman so you, you get the bragging rights as well but if you are uh, just looking for a shave and you have the r41 and you're extremely happy with it based on one shave i don't see any reason uh, going after chasing uh, going after this Wolfman 1.55 or high gap Wolfmans. That's just my opinion based on one shave. It might change. Also, I think I like this one. So from memory, uh, I'm not really good at um, recalling my shaves from months ago. I think I like this one better than the 1.151, which is in which is a razor I didn't like that much. But I'm not sure about 1.25 and 1.55, which one I prefer. I have to see. Over the course of next month or so, I'll be using ex Wolfman WR2 razors exclusively so that I can finally 
sell down or uh, on one of these gaps or two of these gaps or sell all of them uh, whatever happens will happen so yeah pretty much uh, fairly happy about the shave and the fit and finish man this looks excellent I mean there's no way to tell that this isn't mirror polish this looks like mirror polish to me and uh, the handle works really well and cheap as well so yeah it, it isn't crazy aggressive like i was imagining like uh it would it doesn't feel like a shave or anything and so uh, it's a fairly high gap wolfman but that's about it so thank you very much somehow i managed to make this video 21 minutes as well uh, sorry about that but uh what can i do i uh, hope you're doing well hope your shaves are going well hope you're not affected by the coronavirus um, our area is uh, affected by a lot Thank you and enjoy the rest of your week.